Hey everyone, welcome to another series on simplified coding. This is your friend Belal Khan or if you want, you can consider me as your teacher, okay? So from this video, we will start learning about notifications in Android. And actually in this video, I will only tell you what we are going to do in this series. So this is only an introduction and if you don't want to listen to this blah 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 thing, then you can skip. So what is notification? I know this is really a silly question and everyone knows it. But still, let me tell you, notification is something that you see when your girlfriend sends you a message on WhatsApp. And for all those who are single, a big LOL. Jokes apart guys, notifications are short messages that you see outside of your application's UI. These are reminders for the application events, like you received a message on WhatsApp then the notification will remind you that hey you have got a new message. So this series will teach you about building notifications in your application. So what we will be learning? We will actually learn many things. The first thing is creating simple notification to learn how this shit actually works. We will create a button and on pressing the button we will display the notification. Then we will learn Firebase Cloud Messaging to implement remote notifications. And you know, it makes no sense to build a notification when you press a button, right? Notification usually comes remotely. For example, when a new message is there on WhatsApp. Then we will learn sending notifications from one device to other device. And by using this idea, you can easily make a chat application. We will also learn sending notifications from our backend server. And for this, I will use PHP and MySQL. And at the end, we will learn broadcasting a notification across multiple devices. So for this video, we will create our project in which we will learn all these things. Okay, so open Android Studio and let's create a new project. Create a new project and I will name this project as Android Notifications. Then the domain name is simplifiedcoding.net and then next, next, select an empty activity, next and finish. So it will take some time to load the Android Studio project, but you know what? We will start doing these things from the next video. So this video was only an introduction. So thank you guys. I hope you are excited about this series. If you are and you love my content, then please tell your friends to subscribe to my channel and also tell them that, hey dude, this is a good channel, tell your friends to subscribe. And if you have not clicked on that bell icon, then please click on it to get the regular updates. Thank you guys. This is Belal Khan signing off.